This is Degree Money with your special, most favorite YouTuber right here. Okay, this is Chisamu Tibiaka. If today is your first time, welcome. Right here, we talk about everything making money, opportunities, and leveling up as people from Africa and, of course, globally as well. So, if today is your first time, this is a great time to thumbs up this video if you like it already. Because here we're going to be talking about how to make earnings, how to make income, how to live and have living wages from that thing you studied at the university, right? So today we're talking about the law practice. Are you excited? <laughs> so I'm gonna give you 20 whole ideas um, how you can monetize your law practice. I see this a lot in my country, especially where people graduate from law, go to law school, and all of that pride of place. But, you know, the reality in the labor market just hits them, and then you just see them, you know, I don't know just become everybody you know just become everybody and some even don't practice the the course and all of that so part of this show is to help you find pride again in that thing that you studied and make a living right now the first thing i'm going to talk about of course is the old good old legal practice yeah you could just become an associate at a law firm you know set under somebody who already you know, has an experience and all that of course that's the usual thing everybody things about when they get out of school right so but then i know that to get it is a big deal you know how easy is it to get in on, a, on an average i would say not so hard but of course not so simple as well because there are lots of law graduates every year than there are even law firms yeah so you could you just have to you know make sure that your expertise and your passion shines through as you seek a place of practice right and um now but there's a potential that you could earn two thousand to eighty thousand dollars yearly you know working in an average law practice remember these figures look at the video previously on the introduction of this show figures are specific to location to experience and to of course who you're um, serving in that sense right so countries differ and um, of course in development right so you look at these figures and then look at what it what um, in comparison to what is obtainable in your country right okay so another thing you could do as a lawyer is of course to set off on your own solo practice you're a lawyer you're called to bar so you have your license so you know right so you could do what that lawyer who is employing other people also do right the only difference is that you have to be more resilient you have to get on the street and understand how legal practice works in your country and what you need to do and how to of course sell your practice without selling you know what i mean because professional courses i don't know why that is you have to sell without selling in the sense of you don't go on the street marketing oh i'm a lawyer yeah they can help you do this but people who are smart are finding a way around these things okay but that's one something you must do as a solo practitioner you can't just go back and feel like okay when they see me step up in my in my black and white they'll respect me nah the street does not respect profession which is why i'm bringing this series also so that we can talk about these things okay so potentially you could earn you know all things being equal doing it right branding it right selling it right getting the right hands to work with you and all that you could earn anywhere between forty thousand dollars to hundred thousand dollars in a year yeah so it depends on the number of clients you get and i would also say it depends on the on the on niche you also set out for who do you serve with your law practice okay so this is very important another way you can make money from law practice of course is by consulting legal consulting trust me this one all organizations need it whether they know it or they feel like they can afford it now or not legal practice some legal consulting rather is something that is very important for businesses in particular so if you do this right as well you know which is something you can also combine with a solo practice if you know what i mean you could do this well you could potentially end sixty thousand dollars about 150 dollars for every hour you consult right now that can potentially make you anywhere from thirty thousand dollars to about um, sixty thousand dollars every year right so take it minus and plus and average where you where you can with this cost and set out on your journey don't sit around waiting for anybody to come ask you anything necessarily you have to make it happen right number four mediation and arbitration a lot of people say oh okay you can actually do this without being a lawyer i agree 
but as a lawyer as a lawyer mediating and arbitrating is a big deal right people will trust you better than somebody who doesn't have a law degree who is also in the practice right so you can become a mediator so people don't have to go to court and all of that all of that you know bureaucracy so they can meet you and learn how to settle their differences and that is something that is huge trust me the organizations who actually use this service or need it are usually in the you know in the in the fortune 500 companies in the international organizations type because they understand that there's no time wasting going through law court and all that so they will usually settle their you know, differences by mediating with a lawyer right that is so important and it you can charge anywhere from hundred thousand sorry hundred dollars so about three hundred dollars per hour you know mediating and that can potentially earn you anywhere between twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars a year now is that something you're thinking about think about it Think about it very, very well, right? Another one that I love, <laughs> I love this because uh, anyway, you know why in, in a bit. <laughs> Who provides all of those humongous writings that lawyers have to write and read and memorize and who writes them? Don't trust me. Yes, every lawyer is trained to write, appreciate literature and all of that, but trust me, the work can get a lot, right? So you can become a legal writer. Yes, you can become a legal writer, especially if you have honed your skill in writing at all. Why not? See, writing is such a big deal in the legal industry. And if you can provide legal services to law firms, to online platforms, you know, you can earn anywhere between $100 to $300 per article. Yes, and that can earn you about $20,000 to also about um, ten dollars to $20,000 in a year. Yes, you can. And trust me, you can do this legal writing in, uh, as well as consulting as a solo practitioner. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> what, are you thinking what I'm thinking? So these are like giving you ideas of services you can use if you set out a loan and you can also do as a side gig, whatever it is, whatever the combination, go get it. The next one is also something that I love, you know, legal transcription. You know how <laughs> you go to the hospital and the doctor scribbles something for you to give the pharmacist and you're wondering, why are doctors like this? It's the same thing in legal practice because, yes, we have to use the legalese to communicate. We have to use the professional jargon. So somebody needs to transcribe some of the writing, some of the... Um, um whatever is that anyway you know what i mean like someone needs to transcribe that to make sense to like a layman and to you know all of that somebody needs to explain in a way that will be understood by a certain demographics and of course do you know that you could earn from one to two dollars per minute per minute transcribing legal documents and you can make anywhere from ten thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars a year and this is just on average conservative right remember again it depends on your power of sales and number of clients that you serve right the next one is legal research legal research for me i think that this one is a gold mine because trust me more people need to tell more lawyers how to go about doing their practice in a more innovative way look at where in the, in the season of you know ai and all of those troubles across the countries if you can find an idea or a philosophy behind something or behind human behavior behind how something is impacting the law practice or how the law practice can impact you know the society it's just a fresh idea to something that already exists boom you are on your way to providing thought leadership to law firms, to other people, to even law graduates and law students. Think about it. Go ahead. If it's your thing, go ahead and research. Ask is about questioning what has been. From there, you can find a new idea. Research is so huge, guys. It's so huge. And you can charge anywhere from $50 to about $100 per hour for sitting in for your research. And you can make anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars also a year. Remember, these figures are arbitrary in that sense, right? Now, another one that I like: legal document review. Yeah, yeah, we're writing the legalese. How did I know? I studied English and literature, so I had um, some combined courses with law students. So we also have an English course where we talk, we learn deeply about legal jargons and. Um, lexicons as well as also journalists right that is for journalists so working on a document 
for law firms, making sure that you know they cross their eyes and their teeth, making sure that judgments are not misquoted, but then that not somewhere because it can alter the whole judgment where they're not supposed to be a healer to fall. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if you review a document to be sure that it's ready to go and it's not missing there's no misinterpretation anywhere and still in the same language, make sure that it's not watered down, all of those you know review you know services is a huge one and trust me this is these three things i've talked about in the last time i think that will always come up because the law practice is full of writings speaking defense and all of that so you can earn anywhere around 20 to 40 dollars per hour working on the document reviewing a document that i mean and potentially that can earn you also between ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars a year are you thinking what I'm thinking yes now what about contract drafting guys this is hey <laughs> god whether it's your celebrities you decide to work with whether it's business owners whether it's business owners that want to franchise and all of that whether it's even just HR people like employment contract drafting is, is being hijacked by non-lawyers and what are you waiting for <laughs> contract drafting and review is so important so whether they have written their contract and they get it to make sure that it is qualitative and it's something that can fly then you charge for the hours you put in to help them set it up well or you're going to write fresh draft for them to adopt either way you can earn anywhere between 50 to 100 dollars per hour on contract and you can earn anywhere between ten thousand to thirty thousand dollars a year just looking for businesses that you want to serve and help them make their contract tight and don't implicate them you know yeah another thing of course is legal education right with the trend of things changing or you know things happening across the world with all of the economic frustrations and things coming up uh, becoming a law lecturer is interesting it's going to be an interesting one especially if you'll be able to bring fresh perspectives to the study of law law cannot be studied the same way it has been studied from 1960 1980 1999 2000 no post covid things have changed there are more remote ways of going about things i remember when it was such a crime to be able to present an evidence from a video and all of that all of that is changing a bit because these are new realities so having lecturers who are stuck up in the old ways teaching gen z's law do you know what i mean it's, it's becoming frustrating i mean for every discipline at all so consider it go ahead get a master's get a phd and go become a lecturer that will invigorate and train the next generation of lawyers with the right skills and law lecturing or rather lecturing in the in, on the whole can be you know it's not there here or there but between fifty thousand dollars to eighty thousand dollars a year as a law as a legal lecturer you can earn right and that's from a combination of things really you can make it work for you in the real sense no matter what it is that you know lecturers are being paid in your country another one you can do which is done by 11 is legal translation you can offer legal translation services um charging between 10 cents to about 20 cents per word right per word potentially making about ten ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars per year if you need to translate a brief into a legal document that's what i mean you could charge per word right 10 cents is is, is a big deal it's, so it's like my um, let me say it's about my 80 naira yeah they're about so yeah think about it think about it i'm in the editorial industry that is editing profiling so i know how to, how this word thing works right so think about it if you can translate the documents legal document trust me you will be sought after every other time and the good thing is some of these things if you get it right and you're good at it people will keep referring you to other people you know what I mean? Another thing is developing technology for, for lawyers, legal technology development. This is so important. I remember sitting down in a meeting some time ago with a friend of mine who wanted to set up some sort of technology to help people find like you know, cases, Supreme Court cases that they need on the go. You know how the Bible app is? You want to do something like that where if you're thinking about something or somebody's case, instead of going to open big books, you just, you know, just uh, maybe a line of what you remember, you put it in and it gives you that judgment who said it and all of that if you can get around software engineering paying for it or learning it alongside your law degree
brief, trust me, it will always be in demand. And it's estimated that you can make from $50,000 to about $100,000 a year. So if you're able to get successful ventures to use it or to apply it on, why not? You can make it. Really, making money can be infinitesimal if you ask me. So it all depends on how much you're able to sell whatever your skills or your product or your services are because at the base of every profession is being able to sell it if you people don't know you are selling something you're going to remain broke and you don't want that as a lawyer you're a learned colleague okay <laughs> legal content creation that's another one who is teaching us through blogging through youtube videos how legal ways to get around life who is teaching us by articles, from video, by reels, by shots, how to go about life staying on the right side of the law, right? So if it's your thing, you don't need to waste any time right now as we are talking, as you are watching me. You can set up your own channel just like this, teaching us simple things, simple legal things that we can apply in our everyday life to stay in the right side of the law. So you can't be wasting time about it. Set up a blog, use a social media platform as well. You can use a social media platform to attract a lot of viewerships. Then you can always move them to another platform where you have a lot of clout. So trust me, legal advice is what people are looking for for free. And if you're able to provide education around it, using content creation and all that, you can begin to earn through ads on that platform. You can, especially if you use YouTube, you can also begin to earn, you know, in different ways and also charging for people to buy your digital products and stuff like that with time if you're able to earn between five thousand to ten thousand on the average on the minimum every year from that platform right so don't waste time legal podcasting is another one how can you create an audio show okay podcasting these days can also be video right how can you host a legal podcast and you know just bring guests if you want or teach you know just around the same content creation thing but this one using the podcast style you know, invite people. It could be people who have had issues with law, with legal issues, bringing them to share their experience for people to learn and run away from those kind of things. You can host a broadcast and then also monetize through sponsorships and ads and make around hundred to five hundred dollars per episode, and that can potentially give you between five thousand to ten thousand dollars per year. You know, on the average, on the list. You know, really. Now, also, you can organize legal workshops. So you may not want to teach. You may not want to. Uh, you know do a podcast and all that but you can create a one in a year once in a year kind of workshop or so or quarterly or averaging where you're gonna legal workshop for individuals for businesses so you can say smes legal workshops for all the legal documents you need as a small business and people will come in to learn and you give them materials you can bring other eggheads like you as well and you charge a fee around you know between 50 to 100 thousand dollars sorry between 50 dollars to 100 dollars Per participant, per participant, that other well, <laughs> yes, per participant, and they will pay to learn. Trust me, it's a big, big, big market. You can, with that kind of workshop, you could, I'm not saying it for the first time, you can get from the first time, but when you do it once or twice, you'll be able to get other people sponsor you, organizations that have complementary services around legal services. They can sponsor you and you can make even much more money. So it's estimated that at least $5,000 to $10,000 every year you can earn as profit hosting legal workshops also you can host normal legal events and conferences that's another cash cow right lawyers will always want to come out to interact because the joy of law practice is that togetherness you know physically if you ask me so if you host an event a signature event that you're known for every year through sponsorships and all that you can also monetize it easily people register you make money from registration fees and sponsorships and you can potentially end by you know around 10 to 20 thousand a year twenty thousand dollars a year as well you know depending on everything depends on you remember and how you go about your strategy and all of that okay now also entering legal writing competition you could also um, sign up for those every year and participate depending on what their prize money is you can earn at least a thousand to any maybe ten thousand dollars per competition you know it depends on where you fall in if you're able to win you're going to get much more and you're going to also get publicity to be able to drive your other businesses in the legal field okay number 18 is legal advocacy especially for non-profits now non-profits need legal um 
advocacy a lot. So they come up with something that they are fighting. They, they want to put a pressure on the government to adopt a bill or something. So you can offer legal um, advocacy services for such organizations and earn per hour. So between fifty to hundred dollars per hour. Yes, you can. You know, add, I mean, they are non-profit, so you could you know help them. Also, potentially, it's estimated that you could earn anywhere from ten thousand to twenty dollar. $20,000 a year. That's also a projection around it. Now, also representing people as their lawyer, representing not people now like businesses, startups, people who are starting out. Legal representation for startup is so huge. People want to have company secretary, people, you know, people just want to be able to do business with organizations that they think are doing things right. So when you have a lawyer in your team, okay, I'm not talking to you now, I'm talking about the, the SMEs, where they know that when they have a lawyer in their team, Closing deals and all of that will be easier, right? So you could, you don't have to be like a staff, but you can be a legal representative for an organization. And they pay you for every hour you sit in and you help them do stuff. You represent them in one way or the other. You can earn between $200 and $500 an hour. And that can potentially give you $20,000 to $50,000 a year. Representing SMEs, representing startups and all that. Okay, the 20th one I think is you should look at um, becoming an illegal expert witness. So people have issues in the courts and everywhere, you can of course become a legal expert witness, you know, where you're, you know, more like representing your client as well and earning anywhere between $200 and $500 hourly, right? And with expert witness um, representation or legal um, expert witness, you can easily earn every year, depending on the number of clients as well and how well you are able to 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 stand in for them, you can earn anywhere between twenty to fifty thousand dollars every year. Now, these are just twenty ideas. Trust me, there are much more. If you even want to dig in into each or any one that has caught your fancy, you can bring out each one and um, and then you know deepen into them. If you want me to do that as well, let me know in the comment section. Now, how easy is it to even get in or break into all of this? Everything depends on you and your personality and your ability to network, right? Being able to network with you the right people, go for what you want, learn how to do business within your business landscape is what will make the difference. So it's time to use your legal expertise for good of society and majorly. You are the goose that lays the golden egg. So you have to take care of yourself better, more, for you to be able to give back to so much more people, right? So if that made sense to you, let me know in the comment section. I hope you are able to find one or two things. Again, if you're watching and you're saying, oh my God, I wish I had this idea for my own course. I'm not a lawyer. Then let me know in the comment section so that I will do exactly this type of video for your own department, your own discipline, and we will take it there from there. Okay, until I come your way again, remain fantastic and go make money.